Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And Taurus, this is going to be, what are their true intentions and love? Yes it is. Once again, we're back at it. Mm -hmm. Playing, uh, maybe, you know, psychologist, maybe, maybe just tarot reader. <laughs> let's see what we have, probably just tarot reader. But let's see what we got for Taurus and their person. And Taurus, in the extended, the oracle cards are for your person. In this particular reading, it could be either or, right? Yeah, it could be. And it's kind of how it goes, right? In the extended, we kind of really get down about your person. We get real kind of personal about them. Although this is a general reading, it might may not resonate. Please feel free to switch the characters in the reading. It, it really, until we get to the extended. When we get to the extended, that's their spread. All right, yeah, it is. Let's see what we have. Show me the energy for... Taurus and their person, please. And we have the rescue card. Somebody probably needs to be rescued. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe a literal one, right? Maybe your person's calling you or something like that. Please, I need you to come pick me up. My car's my car's broken and uh, there's violence in the streets. Could you please come get me? <laughs> maybe. Okay. Ooh. And we have the sad embrace card. Somebody's a little bit sad here, and uh, maybe not. Maybe there's no violence here, right? I'm just saying. I mean, it could be like a literal rescue. Yeah, I've done readings before, private readings, where they go, yeah, that, that's, you know, the mountain there? I met that person by the mountain, by this, or we went to the first date, we went to the giant mountain, stuff like that. But somebody sad here, it could be, you know, Taurus, you or your person. This could also be rescue me from my sadness, right? It could be. Okay, yeah, rescue me. Uh, somebody sang that song. That was from the 60s, though. And take me in your arms. I want your tender charms. Because I'm lonely and I'm blue. I need you and your love, too. Come on and rescue me. Okay, so maybe it's like that. So let's see. Uh, let's continue with the read, or I'll get started. Let's see what we got for Taurus. We're going to look at your energy first. Show me the energy for Taurus. The Nine of Pentacles, the Devil card, the Challenge, the Page of Wands, which is like a new direction. What you want is the Knight of Wands reverse. You could be dealing with a fire sign who maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe they're a disadvantage or they did you wrong, Right? Maybe the sad embrace is over a fire sign. Their energy is, they're in this two of wands energy with a page of swords. I'm trying to figure out my business, what I want to do here. Maybe if I want to stay or go or just something like that. This reading could be talking about somebody who is far away and they feel like they need to be rescued. It could be for some. And the, the hermit card is showing up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on around the world, guys. Yeah, there is. Okay, and so, you know, and we're not going to talk about it, but, you know, it could be. It could actually be, like, literal. What they want is the hermit, your person. So maybe your person is Virgo. Maybe they're the king of cups, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe they're Capricorn, the devil. Let's, find, let's continue. What they fear is the seven of cups or doubt. Your person, I feel like, is soul-searching to some extent here with the Page of Swords, the Two of Wands, and possibly the Hermit. Maybe they're confused over here in their doubt or fear. Because this is also about a hard choice. It typically is. Seven of Cups. It could be, be careful for what you wish for. It could be, uh, I want all these things here, right? I want everything. Or, you know, it's a really hard choice because one thing looks good, but it's really not. Stuff like that. So you look like you're like either afraid to be single, Taurus, or you are becoming single. Something like that. It could be, it could talk about your abundance and prosperity. Let's get a card for Taurus with the Nine of Pentacles and the Star card and the Two of Cups. Okay, maybe you're healing. Let's continue because this is not complete. Now you have the High Priestess card. I feel like you have fear over a water sign. Here's the King of Cups in your fear position or doubt. And over here in your current energy is the Devil next to the High Priestess. This can, you know, no doubt be like a fear over a water sign. It could be a secret, maybe. 
yeah, there's something going on in this reading that like is like a little deep. So let's get a couple more oracle cards and let's go ahead and use these cards over here, these new cards, and they are the Destiny Sacred uh, Quantum Oracle. Sorry guys, I have another deck over here which is called Sacred Destiny. So let's see what we got. They're all kind of similar, kind of, right? Kind of. Similar but different, yeah. <laughs> let's get a card. Let's see what we have for Taurus and their person from the Quantum Oracle deck. Alright. Show me the energy for Taurus and their person. So this card's flying out. And this card, Courage. Okay, so this rescue card is for the same person who needs the courage, right? Yeah, they need the courage. That's the sad person. I feel like it is. Could be they could be sad and they want courage to leave, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The peace card. Somebody wants peace in the situation. Okay. So let's continue with the reading and let's look at your energy, uh, Taurus. I'm not sure if this is you who kind of wants to be rescued or sad or your person. Why is that High Priestess card? Not yet. It could be you, because you're in the devil energy. It could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is you. Eight of Swords. Here you are feeling really stuck. Right? I don't know what to do. Uh, things aren't, you know, going my way here. Maybe I'm going to lose my person. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like you're either becoming single. I feel like something's ending here. and this is. I feel like this is you, Sad. Mm-hmm. It's like a sad fairy. And let's see what the challenge of the block, page of wands for Taurus. Five of Pentacles reversed. The challenge for you is you think your person's gonna walk away and they're letting somebody in over here. Five pen five of pentacles reversed is letting somebody in, right? Knight of Wands reversed, Ace of Cups, OMG, this is what you want. I feel like what you want is that, you know, you want your person to leave that person out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't want somebody to have a new beginning with somebody. Here you are, the Queen of Pentacles. You don't want your person to have a new beginning with somebody else. I mean, that's, right? And what you are fearing is the Five of Swords energy. You're fearing defeat. For sure. And uh, like a radical change. Maybe a sudden change. Yeah. Why is that five of swords there for sabotage? You could even be fearing mind games, right? We know that. Yeah, okay. Could be fearing that. Ten of cups. I feel like you're afraid here. And uh, that you're going to maybe lose your family. But maybe you're going to lose your happily ever after person. Let's see. The page of swords is showing up. Taurus, for your person with the King of Wands and the Hangman. There could be Aries, Leo, or Sag. There could be uh, also a water sign in the reading. Because uh, the King of Cups is here, and now we have the King of Wands. All right? So, yeah. So, I feel like your person uh, is thinking about... I feel like your person is either this fire sign or a water sign. It could be anybody, but it looks like those are the major players because I usually go by the uh, the court cards. Sometimes I go by the major arcana too, but let's get a card on the hangman. Five of Cups. Wow. I feel like they. I, this could be them. Maybe you want to be with somebody else and let somebody in here. You could too. OMG. Mm hmm. We're going to find out in the extended. That's the tell all. Your person could have been sad about somebody else, though, because this Five of Cups is showing up with the Hangman and the, and the King of Wands. And we saw the King of Cups here. That's Pisces. Could be. Hangman could be Pisces. Nine of Swords. I feel like your person is worried about somebody else. That could be the case, Taurus. Let's have a look here, though. It doesn't, yeah, doesn't have to be... And maybe you are the one who has somebody so far. You're in the Eight of Swords energy. They're, 
I mean, this Nine of Swords is closer to being sad. And they're in the Nine of Swords energy, and you're in the Eight. And they have the Five of Cups. I feel like it's you who wants to let somebody in. All right, Taurus? I thought I trusted you. <laughs> Just teasing. Two of Wands, is there a current energy? My moon is Taurus, so I can make jokes about Taurus, you guys. I can, all right? All right? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's see what we have. And the moon card now. Mm -hmm. This could be Pisces, too. Your person could definitely be Pisces, or they're dealing with one. Or you're, you're dealing with one. I feel like you are. Mm -hmm. I feel like they are. Yeah, they could be. Yeah, I feel like they could. They probably are Pisces here. And, you know, it could be any sign, right? But whatever it is, uh... The High Priestess is here. It could be Pisces, too. Wow, yeah, definitely somebody has a Pisces. Why is the moon there? Your person looks like they're going back and forth about a choice between two people. Two of Wands. And we could say maybe they're sad. Sometimes the moon can mean sadness, but yeah, it can. Your person is sad. I was just saying that. Mm -hmm. The Nine of Swords. It's because you're both challenged. Like... If you are the one who wants to be with somebody else, Taurus, or you've been cheating or whatever you've been doing, you're both challenged by it. Your person has a five of cups. Sometimes it means regret. Like, oh God, I'm sorry I did that. Maybe this whole union can be rescued. It can't. I mean, some of these, you know... Six of Pentacles, your person is going back and forth about third-party energy and a brand new beginning. And I don't think they're going by about it in a, in, a, in a good way. I feel like they're sad. And in their challenge is the Six of Wands and the Page of Cups. This is victory and, a, and an ending. Yeah, you're the one who wants somebody in this reading. Mm -hmm. I feel like you have to walk a new path in order to let somebody in. In other words, you have to leave your person, Taurus, most likely. Because you want the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands, but they're both reversed. Yeah. So now we know who the culprit is in this reading. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just easy. Good. The Hermit card is what they desire. The Nine of Cups. Maybe they want to know all about you and this other person. The Knight of Pentacles, that's you. I feel like they're soul-searching uh, uh, that you... I feel like they want to get to the truth. The hermit really looks for the truth. Yeah, that's what he does. He looks for the... It's like a spiritual card, too. He could be looking for the truth to his own authenticity. And everybody who is authentic and, and awakened uh, understands the truth. No, we're not talking about, like, woke. No, we're not talking about any of that. Okay, we're talking about spiritually awakened. So let's see what your person is fearing. Seven of Cups, Six of Swords. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid you're leaving. You're making a hard choice and you're going. Magician could be Aries here. Because the King of Wands is in the reading. But they're afraid you're going to manifest the situation. Your person is this person with a sad embrace. Trying to have courage. Maybe you are too. Because you don't have that much courage right here. Taurus, Eight of Swords. And the Devil's there. No. Maybe that's you trying to have courage, but your person is a sad person for sure. We're going to find out all about your person. You guys are all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to pull oracle cards for your person specifically. Mm -hmm. we got to kind of give them the table. It is their reading in, in the extended. And how they feel about you, Taurus, and how they are viewing the situation, what's most fundamental to them, like most important, like is good for their foundation kind of. What they hide, fear, and their true intentions. Or not even what they hide, maybe what you don't know about them, right? Thanks so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. God bless everybody. Yeah.